Hey guys, how you like this guy? My son gave me a whole bunch of patterns for crochet for my birthday, so I've been having fun. This is a gnome. My husband doesn't like the pigtails. <laughs> he goes, they're not supposed to have pigtails, so maybe the next one won't have pigtails. But he gave me a pattern, so I make them all different. So this guy has like this great big hat, and uh, he's got like a mustache and a beard. My husband smiled. I was hoping he would recognize what it was. <laughs> So, hey, if you want to make a gnome, I'm just going to give you a real easy idea. All you do is make a great big ball, stuff it with whatever, stuffing whatever. You make a regular old hat if you're a knitter, crochet, or whatever. And then you braid some pigtails, cut off some yarn, make a beard. I made this guy have a mustache. And uh, it's not hard. And then I, I think I'm going to make some of these little projects. My son and his wife were so happy to give me that gift, and it was something I probably wouldn't have done myself, and now that I've got into them, I just really love love it. I think it's just maybe I thought they were too hard. I don't know what my thought was. So anyway, there's there's this guy. It made my husband smile, so I got tickled at it. All right, so today we are going to get right into Ephesians 1 to 4, or 1, chapter 1, verses 4 and 5, and um Let's do this and I'll um, give you some information. You know, Ephesians kind of tells you who you are in Christ Jesus. Okay, so according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, before the world was created, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Okay, so I'm just going to skip through my notes and go over here. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. All right, so um, if some my last video about Ephesians, I told you that God just loves us because he loves us. Just like I love my guinea pigs just because they are guinea pigs. And a uh, little rain today, guys. Um, so let me... Uh, let me go to this um, predestination. Some of you have heard it before. Here's my view on predestination. God lives outside of time. He created the sun and the moon and all that. And the time started clicking. Since God lives outside of time, he has given us all a free will. Because we don't know what we're going to do. But God's will is... That people get saved. And so he kind of, he does know who gets saved and who doesn't. But I'm this can be a complicated thing because at times you'll see that God changed his mind. It almost looks at time at times like God stepped into time, out of time. So to keep it simple, I guess I would put it this way. Sometimes we as Christians try to research out things like, I'm thinking like Revelation 22, the river of life, it says it flows down the middle of the street. I don't understand that. I'm not in heaven. I'd have to be there. And there's things like that, that we kind of look at and I mean, heaven is going to be spectacular. And predestination, like right now, it's like we look through a glass darkly, but then we'll see face to face. So, I think when you get into the predestination, like, does God, you know, call every man and all this stuff. God wants everyone to get saved, okay? But there are things about that predestination that I think that you're getting into time, space, different things about, like, where, you know, does God have a beginning? I just think it's one of those things that, for me, all I know is that I accepted Christ. I want to live for God. God loved me before the foundation of the world. And as far as unbelievers and people that, you know, choose not to do that and predestination, God, I think God gives every person a chance to accept him. I guess I don't know how that all goes through. But it looks to me that God, from what I've seen in Scripture, He wants every single person to get saved. 
it looks to me like he writes every single person's name in the book of life and if they don't accept him their name can get blotted out that's what it looks like to me but i don't but if you've accepted christ I don't think you have to worry about predestination. If you even want to accept Christ, I don't think you have to worry if you want to accept Christ. God wants every man to get saved. And I'm not sure about all that other stuff. <laughs> so I think, like I said, it's like one of those questions like, uh, you know, how did God begin? How does electricity run? One of those questions that all I know is that I'm saved and that works and that's for me. So I hope this helps with those scriptures because I know a lot of people have talked about that. That's been a discussion, you know, in Bible studies and stuff with me, with other people. And uh, I just think that we just, some things, I just think they're, it, unless there's a thing that's going to affect my Christian walk with the Lord, like it does, it says that God loves me before the foundation of the world and he cares about me. That's important to me to know that, that he knew who I was. And when he died on the cross, he was thinking about me when he created the world. And even before the foundation of the world, you know, so that's important to me. But the other questions, I just don't have the answers. I don't know. But uh, I know it does say at various spots in the Bible that God wants every man to accept him, so... I hope this is helpful. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So, remember, uh, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. God bless.